I noticed you uh, like put a lot of emphasis on the, on the head being in line versus like I think anyone else I've seen. Really, like, a lot of guys you say look forward and do the deadlift. Mm -hmm. How important is that? And because that I've tried that and it does make it hard, harder to flex the lower back, mm -hmm. right? So how important is that? It's really important because we don't want to build the imbalances between the musculature that forces lumbar extension, thoracic extension, and cervical extension. We would like them to work together. But what ends up happening is you don't have just muscle, you also have fascia. You've got this shit that like ties all the muscle together, like saran wrap, and you can cheat by having one group within that fascia, within that loop of muscles that should be working together that overworks and then gives the other guys a break. Okay. You see? So we like the three musketeers, right? And I'm using that term to describe extension at the three portions of the spine to work in concert. You know, one guy helps, the other guy helps. They're all they're dancing back and forth and they're all helping each other. But if you get end up with one guy that overextends, the other guys can be lazy. Then you got an imbalanced team. You got one guy that's gonna end up burnt out, tired, and resentful. And the other guy is just fucking lazy, so when it's time for them to really work, it's like, oh, we don't know what to do. Is that yeah. helpful? Yeah. <laughs> you know, this area, I'm, I'm starting to rant, so I'm going to stop. But this area, the jaw, neck area, becomes very tense, rigid, strong, and overdeveloped in most people. And that's why the tendency is to, is to, is to do this. And for a number of reasons. It, 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 it's, it's a part of the physical manifestation of our neurosis. It causes our neuro neurosis. It makes it such that the head is almost castrated from the rest of the body. The powerful muscles of the jaw and the neck and the head get very tense and tight. So you want to almost relax it. And by keeping extension and actually strengthening the deep cervical, like the, the, the inferior homohyoid, the muscles down in here, you actually bring, bring more balance to the entire neck as opposed to just the extensive. I, I spoke about that. Yeah, you had a video recently about the, the cool. Yeah, I, I even have an older one where I give all types of